So, what affects the level of confidence? Is it age? Is it gender? Or years of teaching experience? So, what affects the level of confidence? Hi, my name is James. Today, let's learn statistics. The purpose of this quantitative study to determine the level of confidence of the school administrators to the Filipino secondary teachers when it comes to their demographic profile and qualities. In the field of education, it is crucial to identify how the school leadership views teachers' efficacy by expressing their confidence level in a diverse manner. Before we proceed, let me give you a brief background about Bahrain education system. The Kingdom of Bahrain has the oldest public education system in Arabian Peninsula. The system was established in 1930 when the Bahrain government assumed responsibility for operating two pre-existing primary public schools for boys. The International School Database shows that there are approximately 70 nationalities in the field of the education sector. Filipino teachers are among the highest population teaching at different levels. Filipino teachers are most employed in the secondary level, typically in the private schools. So, the Ministry of Education, or MOE, regulates and standardizes practices in all schools in the kingdom. On the other hand, the Bahrain Quality Assurance, or BQA, is an independent body that promotes quality education across Bahrain. The presence of Filipino professionals organization in Bahrain has a great impact in monitoring and updating professional development through various training. PTAB, or Philippine Teachers Association in Bahrain, has its own way to uphold and support the professional teachers and the aspiring ones. However, it is evident to see how some of the Filipino teachers are moving from one school to another, particularly in the secondary level. It's either the teacher was not given a contract or the teacher was not able to complete the contract due to insufficient performance and other matter. Additionally, teachers' years of experience teaching in Bahrain can be considered as a factor how Filipino teachers adapt to different culture and approach inside the classroom. Though most of the private schools preferred Filipino teachers, nevertheless, there is no study conducted to see the level of confidence of the school leadership to the Filipino teachers, specifically in the secondary level. In this note, there is a need to study the level of confidence as perceived by the school administrator in terms of Filipino teachers' demographics and qualities possessed by our teachers. In this particular study, there were 112 sample population to represent Filipino secondary teachers. Presenting the conceptual framework of this study. So we have dependent variables and the independent variables. First, our dependent variables is categorized as the level of confidence which is the adaptability and the efficiency. And our independent variables, which, is, which are two groups, the demographic profiles and the possessed qualities. Demographic profiles consist of age, gender, educational attainment, and teaching experience. And the possessed qualities are strong communicators, uh, share best practices, and teachers are lifelong learners. So before we proceed to our data treatment, first, let's have a reliability test. The reliability test of internal consistency using Cronbach's alpha shows 
0.813 for teachers' demographics level of confidence. The reliability test of internal consistency using Cronbach's alpha shows 0.729 for the level of effectiveness, which consists of three qualities possessed by the Filipino teachers. And the confidence portion of the instrument was analyzed and calculated using Cronbach's coefficient alpha, and an alpha score of 0.824 for the final instrument was obtained, which is acceptable. The first objective of the study was to determine the Filipino secondary teachers' demographics. So based on the results, the majority of Filipino teachers teaching in secondary level age range from 25 to 29 years of age. It is quite interesting to note that the Filipino teachers or we call RFW actually leaves the country Philippines normally at this age based on the age requirements uh, in the PinoyAbroad.com. On the other hand, the lesser populous ages range from 45 to 49. Now, in terms of gender, out of 112 Filipino secondary teachers, uh, sample population, the majority are females, which is 60.7% of the population, and uh, males show lesser population. Furthermore, it appears that the educational attainment of the Filipino secondary teachers the majority were of master's graduate. This is not appalling as the basic requirements in teaching secondary level in Bahrain are at least a master's degree holder. As anticipated in years of teaching experience, the majority of the Filipino secondary teachers have 11 to 15 years of teaching experience in Bahrain and only one teacher has 21 and above years of teaching experience experience. So our second objective here is uh, to conclude the extent of confidence to the Filipino secondary teachers based on their demographic. So we have used here the mean and the standard deviation or descriptive statistics. So among the four variables it is attention-grabbing to note that the level of educational attainment receives the highest response, which means that the majority of the respondents' confidence level lies in Filipino secondary teachers' education level. It is, all, it is followed by the teacher's years of teaching experience, and on the other hand, the teacher's age has no significant effect on the respondent's confidence level. And the third objective of the study is to identify the level of confidence based on Filipino teachers' qualities. So all three variables show that the respondents favor teachers who are strong communicators, share best practices in the class, and are lifelong learners. And finally, to answer our last objectives, if there is a relationship between the confidence level of the teachers to the level of their effectiveness, it appears that there is a strong relationship between teachers' adaptability to their age and years of teaching experience. However, it is also curious to note that as you gain experience, thus your age increases or otherwise you stop working. Thus, there are some educators who are only in their 30s and already in the higher position based on their experience, efficiency, and effectiveness. Furthermore, the level of confidence in terms of Filipino secondary teachers' efficiency 
and the extent of confidence in terms of years in teaching experience show a strong relationship. The respondents believe that there was statistically significant association between Filipino teachers' demographics in terms of educational attainment and years in teaching. In addition, the confidence level of respondents to the Filipino secondary teachers confirms that there is a relationship specifically with teachers' adaptability, with the age and years of experience, and teachers' efficiency in terms of teachers' years of experience. And finally, our hypothesis. Our null hypothesis states that there is no statistically significant association between the confidence level of the school administrators to the Filipino teachers' demographics and possess qualities as perceived by the respondents. However, the respondents believe that there was a statistically significant association between Filipino teachers' demographics in terms of educational attainment and years in teaching. In addition, the confidence level of the respondents to the Filipino secondary teachers confirms that there is a relationship specifically with teachers' adaptability with age and years of experience and teachers' efficiency in terms of teachers' years of experience. To conclude this study, the future researcher can also look at the specific needed qualities and skills on the secondary teacher to be considered as a factors that may influence the level of confidence of the school leadership. Another aspect to be considered is the expectations of the school leadership to the Filipino secondary teachers that is parallel to the Bahrain Quality Assurance or BQA standards. In addition, the needed qualification and certificates that the Ministry of, of Education or MOE requires must be clearly stipulated. Then the overall standard requirements can be shared to the Philippine Department of Labor and Employment or DOLE as a source of reference to those teachers who might be interested in working in the Kingdom of Bahrain.